Go check out the new Bigfoot shirt. It's a Bigfoot AI generated t-shirt and I love it. It looks awesome. Link in the description, link on your screen right now. Check it out. Hey, what's up? Today we are going to be looking at fashion. I woke up this morning and I said, hey, I want to talk about fashion because I don't know anything about it. I love to talk about things that I know nothing about. It's kind of my niche. To prove I know nothing about fashion, the shirt I'm currently wearing is um, a Chris Farley shirt, which I should have turned inside out when I washed. So now it's, uh, we call it distressed cotton. Yes. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is fashion, where we look at fashion and I'll critique it because, you know, I'm I'm a fashion critic now because I decided I am. Let's do it! Oh, and you know what? Isn't this where I'm supposed to be like, before you uh, watch this video, you know, it really helps me if you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment. I haven't said that in a video in so long. Whoa, all right, let's get into this video. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is apparently from an artist and it's called Scribblecore, fashion designer, I guess. Artist or fat, I guess is, is it the same thing if you call it a fashion designer or an artist? I don't know, are they gonna get offended? Are there like epic painter fashion designer wars that I don't know about? Anyway, let's look at the fashion. Yeah, great, it looks like you tripped and fell into a children's toy. Or like you got attacked by a bunch of slinkies that unraveled themselves around you and then they all got tangled. Cause we all know how easily slinkies get tangled. Yeah, maybe it was like a minefield of slinkies and she tripped and fell in it and started rolling around and then that's what happened. Wow, well, that's it. Or she's just a stressed out mother who's like, my kids never pick up their toys. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, just uh, fell head first into a bin of toys. I understand, it happens to me almost daily. My kids don't know how to clean up. Got them watching the big comfy couch, but uh, thought the 10 second tidy would inspire them. But no, they just, they're like, yeah, dad, do it. You made the big mess. The Big Comfy Couch is a Canadian kids show that I grew up on. I don't even know if anyone's even gonna get that reference, so. Here's another artist. Yeah, there we go. What's this one? This is from 1994. It looks like a zombie got attacked by one of those like paper lantern things. Yeah, don't catch a gust of wind. If someone lights a flame under this person, they will fly off into the sky. I mean, it actually looks pretty good when it's on the models here, but I don't know what's going on. Is that the actual fashion designer? Oh man, it's creepy. Uh, somebody wore this to a movie premiere. Oh, nice, cool. It's like, looks really uncomfortable actually. It's like one of those big puffy jackets except it goes all the way down to your legs. I would be checking her. She's smuggling something in there. There's probably like a crate of puppy dogs under there that she's gonna be selling underneath the table. You know, people are gonna be next to her and she's gonna lift up her skirt and she's gonna be like, you need a puppy? You never know. Come on, you could smuggle a lot under that dress. What are you doing, Nova? What's going on? You don't wanna be in the show anymore? So pretty. Come here, show everyone how pretty you are. Can you get up? Get Come on, let me carry you like a baby. Ugh. One day, Nova, I'm gonna make a coat out of your fur. Yeah, that's why I got you, because I was like, hey, when she pa don't worry, I'll let you pass a bold age first, but I'm gonna rock that coat for years to come. <clears throat> anyway, I'm probably covered in fur now. Deal with it. Moving on. Oh God, no, someone save her boob. When this was posted, it was posted as uh, Miss Universe rocking this belt or something like that. So I guess this is one of the Miss Universe winners or something, I don't know. I'm just very concerned that, I'm concerned about how tight your breast belt is, okay? It doesn't look comfortable. Who put that on? Let it out a couple notches, okay? I'm sure you're just trying to make sure nothing falls out, but save the boob. I'm gonna have to start a hashtag or something. It looks very uncomfortable, okay? It looks like it's squeezing the life out of your face. Your head's gonna explode. That's what's gonna happen. All that meat's gotta go somewhere. All right, what's next? Oh, this one looks almost like the first one, like the kid's toy one. Although this one gives me more of like a disease virus kind of vibe. I wonder if this was designed during COVID times. It looks like a germ. Like if that floated onto me or into my mouth, I'd probably break out in some sort of spots or something, right? It looks gross. It also looks dangerous. Like if I ran at you, would those stab me? Are they really sharp and pointy? Is it made out of glass? I have so many questions. 
Is this a futuristic hedgehog? What am I looking at? Oh man, these ones just keep popping up. I showed these weird shoes before. I showed this weird kind of alien skin fashion. It's so weird. And now I'm just starting to think it's actually just an alien race visiting our planet getting passed off as this eccentric fashion. Because look, look at... I just keep seeing it. She's just walking down the street like, everybody on Earth is so friendly. They keep taking pictures of me like I'm famous. No one ever questions it. And you see someone dressing like that, your first instinct isn't usually to go up and like start a conversation. You either think they're doing some fancy Instagram video or they're doing it for like a modeling shoot. Honestly, I think the first like week or two, if an alien landed on our planet and started roaming around, people would just be like, wow. They'd be like, wow, that is a cool costume, dude. They'd be like, okay, gonna enslave your race, but that's fine. Look, everybody here just has the right idea. Like all three of these people in the back are just like, what the hell, especially this guy. I can read his mind. He's like, what in the fuck? And then there's this guy here with the willpower of a god. How are you not looking right now? What, you've seen someone dressed like that before? He's just that person that's like, you know what, I'm not even gonna give them the satisfaction of looking. That's what they want me to do. <laughs> He's just so sick of it, that's what that is. Really, everybody's face should be this guy's face right here. Everyone should look like him. Like, what in the fuck is happening right now? You know, maybe I'll just Photoshop his face on everybody's face. There we go. Yeah, even put it on hers too. Yeah, what in the hell am I looking at? It's called fashion, okay? They call it fashion. That's what it is. That's all you have to say when someone says, hey, What's going on here? Why are you dressed like that? It's called fashion, okay? You wouldn't understand because my level of fashionista is above yours. Oh, I've used this one before, but I feel like it belongs in the fashion one because she's wearing a shopping cart. Wow, you chose to wear your shopping cart armor. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's meth. Uh, probably. Okay, yeah, just wearing that shopping cart. That is some cool body armor. Did she just get caught in it? Like she woke up in a shopping cart? Like what in the hell happened last night? Better grab a beer, little hair of the dog. I'll figure out how to get out of this. Oh, and just to be warned, if you're gonna try to put on the shopping cart armor, it does come with a risk. This man, he didn't put it on properly and look at him, he had to be rescued. Just fair warning. So what happens when I pet my dog. I just like put my hand in the air and I like shot a hairball through the sky. It's like I just, whoosh, it's like magical powers. I have like a dog hair aura around me now. Here's a uh, pig outfit. Right, it looks like some sort of leather pig costume. And honestly, I wasn't sure of the gender of this person and it had little circles cut around the nipples. So I just put a sensor bar up there just in case, okay? Just cover my ass, cover myself just in case. It's a little pig outfit. Cool. Yo, what kind of tracks you spinning back there, DJ? Probably like, like a Three Little Pigs nursery rhyme or something? Is this supposed to be some sort of, I'm sure it's supposed to send some sort of deep, meaningful message that it, I, I'm i just not deep enough to understand it, I guess. Let me try to read between the lines here. Um, that's a pig with slacks and boots. Okay, so the pig is prepared to jump in the mud. Maybe it's just a more well-prepared pig because it's got some nice boots on for when it wants to roll around and jump in the mud. Maybe there's no deep, dark, seated message trying to be sent here. Oh, I just always think fashion is trying to tell me something and I just don't understand what it's trying to tell me. Ooh, a harp. Cool, but look, those strings look loose. Do those harp strings actually play? If you're not gonna make an actual harp that plays, aren't you just half-assing it? I want someone to be able to run up off of the stage there, someone who's like, man, I haven't played the harp in years, but you know, I used to play it in high school all the time, just go up there and start strumming those chords, serenading the audience. What am I even talking about today? I feel like I'm on like rant mode, just, I can't stop. I can't stop talking. I'm so talkative today. I think it's because I woke up and I actually felt like talking about this topic. Sometimes I have to force myself like, hey, this will be a good one to do today. Today I woke up and I don't know, I felt like talking about fashion. Ooh, pointy wizard shoes. This is what people back in the day would look like. This is like way back, you know, when pe I just, I'm getting like an old 1800s vibe or something. When did people dress, how did people dress in the 1800s? Let me see here. How did, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Maybe like 1700s, let's see this. Anyway, I'm getting like an old school vibe, okay? I'm not I'm not all caught up on my history. I'm, I could go through like decades and just try to find where this matches, but you know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to be Googling on my phone the whole video. I mean, I guess I could edit it out. Maybe I did. I'll never know until the future. 
which you are already in. Oh, this is, this is weird. Now, the thing about these pointy shoes is all I'm picturing is her, like, kicking someone in the ass. You just can't kick someone in the ass if you have shoes like this. These are not ass-kicking shoes. These are ass-violating shoes. These are like, you'll catch a charge if you kick someone in the ass with those shoes because it goes from assault to sexual assault. Depending on how good your aim is. Here's a really weird one. I don't know who this balon... Chigag Balenciaga tape bracelet from FW24. I don't, I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is a bracelet made to look like a roll of tape. Someone left a comment under this saying something along the lines of, uh, I'm pretty sure fashion industries are now just trying to see, like, what they can get rich people to buy. And you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if they were like, hey, we've got lots of money. Let's make just, like, a 24 karat gold piece of tape. See what people will buy. Hey, how about we just sell actual rolls of duct tape and then say they're bracelets? I bet you we could sell them for like 200 bucks a pop. It's not really fashion. I guess my question is, is when does it go from fashion to just comedy or just from fashion to fucking with your customers? Did anyone buy one of these? Apparently it's $3,300. Apparently. This is all just what I've read in the comments under this one that I found on Reddit. Don't quote me on any of this. Here's a man that looks like he doesn't want to be wearing this business casual jock strap. If you show up to a business meeting like this, you will not get the job, okay? You won't. This guy looks confused. He looks like he just woke up in this and they put him out there and he's like, what the hell? They told me, get in the van and I'll give you $100 and now I'm awake on a runway. Ooh, here's some winter wear. Wow, winter wear for a cyclops, I guess. You know, this actually does look quite warm. And I live in a place where there is a ton of wind and actually some days when I'm walking my girls to the bus stop, I would actually love to have one of these, just zip up my entire face so the wind's not affecting me. Sometimes I bundle up more and I'm like, kids, I'm sorry, I'm wearing all your coats and your jackets. You're gonna have to go without, you're just gonna have to wait till the bus comes. I'll give you your jackets back after. I like one jacket on each arm. I make sure I'm warm because if I'm not safe, how are the kids, how am I gonna save the children, right? It's like when you're on an airplane, you put your mask on first to save the other people. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep myself warm with all my children's coats and everything and then I can keep them safe. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Here are two cool puffy coats. One of them's a little bit like a dress. This guy just looks ridiculous. Okay, I could get on board with the puffy pink dress. I'm okay with that. Honestly, if that was the only thing in this picture, I wouldn't be using this one. It's this cloud. Somehow it looks like a rocket ship cloud. I don't know how to explain it. You know, like he could just blast off into space and fly around and it would just look normal because he's dressed like a rocket ship cloud. You, you know what I mean? You know what, let me just, I'll, I'm gonna put my Photoshop skills to the test here for a second. Hold on. Yeah, see, flying through the sky. Majestic. Now look at that. Oh, I can even move him up and down a little bit. Now he's down here. Now he's up here. Whoa! I feel bad because, you know, his friend's not flying. There you go. Whoa! Flying together in the sky. We are the fashion guys. And I'm just gonna end with a new person I discovered who's probably gonna make a few appearances in this video now because, uh, I just discovered this guy named Tommy Cash on Instagram and he's, uh, He's a musician, fashion artist, he likes to dress up in costumes. And his costumes, like what is this I'm looking at right now? He put this here is uh, what he commented underneath. I'm from the year 2050 and this is the most basic fit. Okay, so this is from 2050. Cool, so this is what fashion will look like in the future. I always kind of thought blow up dolls would be more popular in the future. Not blow up dolls. Yeah, I always thought that balloon animals would be more popular in the future. Yeah, I, I can actually make a dog like that, all right? Just a uh, humble brag there. I love the subtle squeaky petting. So in the future, are dogs like outlawed and everybody has to have balloon animal pets? I'm just trying to figure out. You didn't give me much to go on. Honestly, if he threw a fashion show, I'd go. I'd watch it. Here's another one he did. He likes to show up to fashion shows in costume too.
In this one he commented, hard work and dedication. The thumbnail I first saw was this, and I was like, what the hell am I looking at right now? Well, he was just working out the whole time. <laughs> I feel like I can get the meanings of his costumes a little bit more. I like it. I would go to a fashion show just to watch him from across the crowd. I probably wouldn't be watching the fashion show as much. I'd just be like, what's he gonna do next with my bag of popcorn? Anyway, I like him. As far as this fashion video goes, I'm gonna say he gets the, the fluffy stamp of approval. He gets, he's good at fashion. All right, he's doing it. I think it's better because he's putting himself in the costumes and every time I see like a model in some ridiculous outfit, I'm like, oh, they got forced into it. They don't want to wear that. It's just a job to them. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, let's just move on with our lives. If you haven't already, check out the new Bigfoot is Real shirt. It's an AI generated t-shirt. This one goes all the way up to 5XL. It's selling really well. And uh, honestly, it's selling way better than I thought it would. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And come up to your screen real quick. Real quick. 